10 seconds. 10 seconds is all it takes. Are you looking to get unstuck when it comes to manifesting the things that you desire to have? A lot of people in the comments, a lot of people in my emails are asking me, how do I get unstuck? How do I finally figure out how to get my mind back in focus? If you are interested in knowing how to do that, you need to stay tuned because this video, I'm going to break everything down for you from top to bottom so that you will understand that there's only one thing that needs to shift in your dominant state, in your dominant thoughts, in your dominant words. And we're going to get into it right now. By the end of this video, I'm going to reveal a very special technique that I've been using for years that has helped me to unravel all of my limiting beliefs and get to my manifestations. Number one, before we unpack this video, is when it comes to Neville Goddard's teachings and him talking about living in the end or living in the wish fulfilled, I think a lot of people are overcomplicating it, if I'm being honest. Living in the end only requires for you to dominantly think about yourself as if you already are in your desired reality. So if you are in your desired reality with anything, that's SP, boyfriend, girlfriend, money, health, you name it. If you were in your desired reality, what thoughts would you be thinking? How would you be feeling and how would you be speaking? I repeat this over in a lot of my videos because I want it to stick. Repetition creates your reality. The things that you repeat over and over and over, the things that you listen to over and over and over, over the course of time, your subconscious mind is going to start to only give you the thoughts and the perception of the things that you keep repeating. That brings me to my next point which is shifting your identity into the person who already has it by doing something that is so simple to do yet nobody does it. It's called inner conversations. Your boy Neville, he tells you all the time that anytime you are doing the negative self-talk, anytime that you're thinking about things that are not in alignment with your desires, so as you start to develop these inner conversations, and let's just be clear, an inner conversation is any line of thought that spirals into having a conversation or a succession of just random thoughts, right? Those are inner conversations. Thinking about, you know, your next paycheck and what you're gonna do with your paycheck and how many bills you have and whether you're gonna be able to pay your rent over the course of 10 minutes, you've just had a whole spiral of an inner conversation that's not in alignment with someone who is financially free. Or if you do it with the SP, why hasn't he called me? It's been 10 days, we're, no, we're in no contact. Oh my goodness, maybe he doesn't like me. Or maybe this whole manifestation thing is a hoax. Maybe I can't get my manifestation. That's an inner conversation, it's a spiral. Inner conversations are a part of your thoughts throughout the entire day and I would highly implore for you to start to become aware of what you're saying to yourself. Now Joe Dispenza is one of my favorite people. Him and Neville are like my two people. Joe Dispenza talks about how you can actually shift into the identity of a person who has a desire by waking up each and every day and setting your intentions. This is one of my game changers. This, this is going to require for you to dedicate a little bit of your time and your effort into your manifestations when you first get up. The first thing you do when you get up is super important, in my honest opinion. Um, Joe Dispenza has been studying neurology and he's been studying um, NLP for years. He is a genius at understanding how your thoughts correlate with your circumstances in your life and your daily habits are literally manifesting because the repetition of doing something over and over and over is what you're seeing in your reality. Treat yourself well. Start to put yourself first. Start to see yourself as the person who has it with your self-concept. Each and every day that you get up, you should be doing something towards your mind, your heart, and your spirit. See, there's this thing that 
in the manifestation community that people don't talk about a lot is called infinite intelligence. We forget that we are not just 3D beings. We are actually connected to a higher consciousness. There is a level of manifestation that is happening beyond our 3D circumstances. That's called the 4D, the 5D, the 6D, the 7D. It can go on and on and on. All you need to know is that whatever it is that you're desiring to have in your life, it requires for you to focus only on the end result and to wake up each and every day with your focus on how am I going to align today into the version of myself who already has their desire. If you can do that every single day, give yourself seven days. This is why I love seven day mental diet resets because within a small frame of seven days, you will start to see a shift if you can consistently have inner conversations with yourself that are pleasant that are fun that are happy this is this manifestation thing is not supposed to be hard we're always manifesting manifestation is not some trick or some technique it literally is a part of your being what we're talking about is consciously manifesting things deliberately putting your thoughts on your desires and i want you to know that it's going to be easier for you when you become more aware of your inner conversations now for the technique that i use when I go to bed is obviously sat, which is state akin to sleep. Here's the technique that I use. Whenever I'm falling asleep, I just do a 10 second little inner conversation that would imply that I already have my manifestation. So here's an example. I would imagine me calling my mom and telling her the good news about me getting a sponsorship for $10,000. A 10 second loop of you just seeing yourself in the future version of yourself, hearing an inner conversation or imagining an email or imagining your SP saying something really sweet to you. I love you. I only want to be with you. 10 seconds. 10 seconds is all it takes for you to manifest the things that you desire to have when you're going into the state akin to sleep. That's that's the technique. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I appreciate you. I want you to know that I do have a membership going on. It's called The Sweet Spot. If you want to check out what's going on in The Sweet Spot membership, we're already over there making moves, making movement. People are getting their manifestations and are really, really happy with um, the community that we're building. I love you guys so much and take care of yourself wherever you are.